I don't have any painkillers left. back here I'm a little bit unexcited about this spawn just for the fact that I don't want to get clapped sometimes people spawn in that section over there and they'll run this way so I'm just gonna wait a minute Did I miss him? Did he get past that gap? He jumped in and out the back window. I'm guessing he's doing RB AO at the moment. He done VO and now he's doing AO. If he runs behind me, we'll hear it. He goes out the front. There we go. He's looting the scab out the back. Shot one opportunity. Ow. How was that missing? That was bang on his head. Sickly the last one.
probably got past already. That's the problem. I'm not having clear. Be worried about that hill. Guys, coming up. You just saw him through the trees? Where? The scabs are gonna get me busted.
I think after that big barrel battle, they uh they just ran off. I don't think they stuck around. He's not looted. The gun just like moved a little bit away from the body. Fourteen point four to go. Metabolism. I think we can loot him. I think these guys are gone. Is that just to be sure? Movement in dome top right. Anyone else confirm? was a tree. I can't believe we found the six inch vector barrel, but it was the wrong caliber. This is so rude. Pretty much all we need. The only extra thing we could take is this. If we want to go through D2. Fifty-one. Get rid of the cat. Get rid of the paracord.
There was a lot of fighting. He was acting like it was in dome. Hurricane fight was outside, hundred percent. Maybe outside on the top. Extract it out of D2. We could technically take both, really. I don't think we need any more manuals. D2's been taken. shooting than just one dead guy. I don't If he dies, he dies. Mm -hmm. Someone closed the doors behind him. I think we have one more shooter one kill on reserve to go, which is nice. And we're trying to find these weapon parts, so and we got we actually got the uh, M4, uh, the thermal mount. So now we can put the thermal on the uh, M4, and we got another shoot uh, kill for Tarkov shooter part four, which is good. 187 meter headshot. It is a done. Right, so that's done. 
And now we could do the shooting range upgrade, but we're not. We're going to do defibs. Because we need three of them. We can still do this upgrade. I think we do this one. And then we do... Once we, this is done, then we can focus on this one. So now we need... Because this is going to be a little bit while. Five wires. We need one of these master files. A drill and three more weapon parts. And Bitcoin farm still... Oh, we need three more cords. Two more PSUs. Cords are easy to get though. Cool. Interchange time? Nah. Reserves really treating as well. I want to, want to keep this rolling. All right. Uh, where's our M4? All right. Modding. This will be the hat. And then this. Cool. So I think all we need now is the barrel. The Alexander barrel. Is there a barter for it or is it purchase only? Oh, I feel like it was a barter. Okay, so now, the, this one here. Nope, that's the end pack. So it must be a rogue one. Put that M4 into the hideout. Wait, we're missing. Isn't this meant to have an LS321? EFT Wiki Gunsmith 21. Is that the M1A? Nope. 22 is the M4. LS321, there we go. Modding. All right, we go again. If we can get one more shooter one kill on reserve, and we've already got we got two from Taco Shooter Part Four on reserve, isn't it? Well, if we get the last shooter born kill, then we do a different map. But it's been nice getting a few of these today. Gravy train, thanks for three months. It's a risky spawn. Okay, three is just nice in general. Jakey, the G, thanks for the 43 months. We did need D-Bats, but not really much anymore.
Hmm. Need cap still. All right, where are we going? We do RBS too. Metabolism. Let's see. Yep. There we go. <sighs> we still need an AKM. the duffel bag, don't really need it. SKS, we can turn into the weapon parts. Really want to do a cheeky reset, but we're almost at that point. I don't think there's anything specific that we need. The players are underneath. We heard the grenades going off over that way. I want people throwing flashbangs over at the train station trying to get Glucker out there these ones all just went underneath it's kind of like how um, Rust is Bubba Sage want down hardcore servers a bunch of niggas running around with no weapons it'd be the, like the best thing ever if everyone on a server is hardcore nobody will ever get guns not true at all cool this is the one we finished shooter born in heaven this raid i can feel it in my jellies
actually a better spawn than the last one. I'm gonna go straight to the roof and hope we can get someone trying to throw flashbangs to find Glocker. Gemini, how you doing, mate? Come on. No one? When I'm trying to find Glocker, I'm, I run into like sweaty players, throwing nades everywhere, doing backflips. Darkhold, thanks for six months. That was so. Always preferred perfect dart to golden eye. I preferred uh, golden eye. But once my mate switched to perfect dart, there's was no change in him, eh? But I like the challenges in golden eye. You know how you. What was that? What was that shot? find two tank batteries in like two crates you know, if that started white that's like millions I am tempted to push underneath Close quarter ballsy fighting. Not required. 
That sounded like the back of train to me. Let's gather a plow. Scav? Okay, cool. That's a plow. No way. Come on, pest. You can hit these. Fuck off. I think it was about throwing eight. I'm sure I blew his face off. Where did he get an M700? Not found in raid. He put the, oh, he put the site in the butthole.
Cool. Well, the only thing left to do on reserve quest related would be to kill raiders. Get the six or five raider kills or whatever it is for um, easy job part two. Oh god. You had to make this difficult for me, didn't you? Is it? You know? Oh, I just need one more kill. Nope. <laughs> Get two. <sighs> Shooterborn Orange Customs. Oh, customs was Lighthouse Streets. Oh yeah, the axe. Thank you. I've got another axe now. I feel like customs will have a pretty good chance of it being um, the, the distance one. This one, 80 meters. Otherwise, I'm actually thinking interchange because you can't do any of the other interchange ones. In, because whereas we might get some customs kills when we're doing the sniper scabs or something like that. We could go interchange. I would prefer it to be suppressed on interchange though, but we need to save suppressors. And we can find weapon parts on interchange too. Yep, let's do an interchange. I think he's still behind here, but... That, that hit his head for sure. That hit his head for sure, right? That was bang on! That missed. And this dude loves wide peeking. That missed. Fuck! Got him. 
Maybe he's a lot further out than I realise, and the travel time's just like. He shot so many rounds then. Alright, kills a kill. We kept repeating because I kept missing. Made him feel overconfident that I was. Can we loot, please? An atrocious, atrocious aiming player. I did hit him in the helmet, by the way. I was trying to find a hidden stash and I'm trying to find the body. There it is. Why can't it be an AKMN? Oh, this guy's already killed another player. Or he's just looting up big. Heavy boy. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Heat that up. Floppy Waffle Boy, thanks for the gifted sub. Maybe the loudest V98's a good thing. It drags more people into having a look. 
I think this guy was just a hidden stash runner. The first guy got shafted on his spawn. Struggling to find PM pistols to complete Punisher quest. I'm done with this game. It's too hard. If finding PM pistols is the thing that makes this game too hard for you, then you'll never get Kappa. Not with that attitude. How do you use your prime sub? So you got to go to sub and then it's like elevate your sub or some shit. Try exclamation mark sub. See if that helps. Go to that link. What do you think, chat? See the flash of my gun shooting. That, that hit his head for sure. That hit his head for sure, right? It ricocheted. <laughs> <sighs> I'm telling you, in Tarkov, at, at the 200, you don't need to change your zero at all. And then above 200, you just aim up a little tiny bit. That's it. Starting to get to messy. Good right. Just buy more stash lines. I did it on my main account. If I did it on all six of my accounts, I'd be broke. Mm, from here. I think we charge the player that spawns in this back corner. Give him a good scare at least. They spawn over there, yeah? the trailer bodies over that side I don't want to get shot in the back but Shall I go on then?
I don't think they spawn in the corner. I don't know. What do you guys think? Sometimes you get people doing uh, hidden stashes, but usually that's at night time. No one will come this way. I just want to stay here to prove you wrong now. Hello? What do you guys think? Yeah, I got the last kill on reserve. Reserve's done now. I could go Emicon and then to no backpack. If I want to try and get more kills. I feel like if, if I just go straight to Railway, there's not going to be anything. I don't think there's any stash runners this way. I think I'm going to reset via em Emicon and go no backpack. Oh, I've got a backpack on though. Of course I do. Why wouldn't I? President Richard Nixon, all right. And? So I'm going to go past Emicon and then... I'm going to start calling a Mirko. All right, we're going to run past a Mirko and then... Eh? Mirko. A Mirko.
<laughs> well, how do I say it? Elko Delco, thanks for eight months. Gonski. Oh, I can't remember. You got me on the spot now. We're still on shooter one tuck off shooter? Yeah, I got heaps to go. Find those last two PSUs so we get the Bitcoin farm going. Beautiful weather. Beautiful weather. Let's give it 10 minutes. 10 minutes? 5 minutes. Let's give it 5 minutes. Why is the scope bugged? I know there's no distance required for shooter bomb, but I do need distance for Tarkov shooter. Any of the uh, the killer farmers would have just gone out through no backpack, but I feel like we've got a chance to get a couple of TMZs extracting through Emicon. How far is 80 meters? That bus would be 80 meters. That, oh, probably about that tree would be 80 meters. We talking? What's your dream location? A vacation, sorry. Oh, something where I don't have to think about where to eat and all that kind of stuff. It's just walk out the street, bam, got food. You know, something really relaxing. Preferably something that isn't a lot of work for my daughter or my wife. Cruise ship does actually sound interesting. I, I feel like the older I get, the more appealing a cruise ship sounds. They aren't as bad as people make them out to be. I can definitely endorse going on a cruise. I went on a cruise around Japan when I was 25 and it was great because we couldn't decide where to go. I feel like Japan, I would rather not be on a cruise because there'd be so many things I'd want to see on land. Hey, Pess, can you tell me about your time in the military as I'm thinking about enlisting? Join the Air Force, join the Navy, don't join the Army. If you, if you really want to do it long term, be an officer. And if you're desperate to join the Army, be an officer. Last but not least, don't join the infantry, do a trade. Do any sort of thing that's going to give you a skill set for when you leave, so that way you can get a job straight away. To give you perspective, if you join the infantry, you leave the military, you can't even be a security guard, you'll still have to go do a course. At most, you're a glorified, glorified laborer or janitor. At most. You'll know how to work hard. That's probably about the one thing that it will give you. And you can get treated like shit, and you'll still be able to do your job. In any job. I've literally given you everything you need to know. But watch me read your chat message saying, yeah, I was thinking about joining the infantry. And I'll go, enjoy, mate. Look after yourself. The amount of people I've spoken to, they've literally come to me and go, hey, I'm looking for advice about joining the military. Like people, like family and, and, and that. Or my family's like kids and stuff. And, they've, and I've gone, literally said that exact same spiel. Like, no, no, no. Definitely want to be infantry. And I'm like, Stupid is, the stupid does. I was thinking about the Air Force. You're going to love it. Air Force is pretty much um, like a job with a uniform. Like I, I can't speak for other, other countries, but uh, for the Australian Air Force, you get like a roster, you get you know treated like an adult. You're expected to do your job and be trusted to do your job. And uh, you get a lot of great benefits. 
If you're joining the Air Force in America now, I've got no idea. Whereas if you join the army, and I'm, I can speak for other countries too, because I've, I've spoken to a lot of people that have served in other other armies. Um, you will not be treated like an adult. You will not be expected to know how to do your job ever, even if you've been in for a long time. You'll get micromanaged, you'll get treated like shit. They'll say lots of things like, How do I word it? Oh man, that airdrop could work to our favor. Please land in front of me. They'll say lots of things like, you may get treated like shit, but you're the best of the best of the best. And I don't know, I can't remember the sayings they used to say, but it was all like, people wank. Pretty much just saying, you know, like, Men want to be you, women want to sleep with you. All that kind of shit. Yeah, a lot of copium. Imagine if I just stayed where I was at the beginning. Chat. Past the tower, there's a. Wait, we can probably check. And get around it a little bit. I think it is past the tower. Oh, it could be quite in the open. Served nine years with the British Army. Don't do it. Now I don't want to get too like political. But, and don't cancel me over this, but the army has gone way too PC, particularly in Australia. I'm not saying like you should be beating the new guys into a pulp at the, you know, on your first day and shit like that, but like it's almost to the point where you aren't even allowed to yell at your soldiers anymore. Like you're training people up to kill people and, and to go to war, but like if you raise your voice at someone now, it's like... You're a hor horrible human. What did I do in the army infantry? Rye thanks for 28 months. I think, I could be wrong. It could be someone camping it, but I think if I loot it from the left hand side, as I look at it, if someone's trying to camp it from the building, I might be in cover. 
There could be someone in one of these bushes, but... Oof. It's on the road. I have to check because it could have a lead or a weapon part. Am I about to die? Am I about to die? We got all the screws we needed. We need that. Somewhere at railway. Someone's trying to fight the scavs, I think. Oh no, they're shooting the window. They're up here shooting the... Is there a player or a player scar? again. That wasn't a headshot. It wasn't a headshot, but I at least got Tarkov shooter kill. Was, I was on two, wasn't I? Was it Scav? Are you sure? Imagine we get to railway and it's the other one.
I'm gonna blame my misses on trigger delay. There used to be one with the SV98. It doesn't feel like it's still there, but... Like if you gave me gave me an M700, I wouldn't miss those shots. Pros and cons of your job in the army. Would you be fucked if it wasn't for streaming? No, I don't think it'd be f I'd be fucked if it wasn't for streaming. Like, I never planned to become a streamer after I left the army. My plan when I left was to be a builder or an electrician or a plumber. Uh, hello? My, my escape key's not working? Hello? Tarkov? Did you not do a trade in the army? Nope. No, it was infantry. The only thing that the infantry gave me was um, I learned Indonesian. But I had to like apply for that and work hard to get on it and, and study and all that kind of stuff. I decided that when I left the army, I wanted to work for myself. One thing about the military is you could be the best soldier in the battalion or the worst soldier or, or injured and you still get paid the same. So the way I saw it was like, when I worked so hard in the army to try and be the best soldier I could be and I left, I was like, well, why don't I do a job where I get paid in reflection of how hard I work? What was I crafting? The weapon parts. I didn't even look. I'm guessing that guy was a scav, right? This is the pay in army fair. Australian army pays really well. So that's upgrading. What are we missing? Two weapon parts, four wires, and a drill. We're gonna need more of these. What we should craft is more magnets. Cause we're gonna need to make more defibs. All right guys, I'm tired. I might end the stream here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Appreciate all the follows, bit subs. You guys are amazing as always. And uh, I'll be back tomorrow. Someone in chat's determined that I'm tired, so let's finish it here. Had, a, had some really big success today. Big success. We got Rishala down with, with the Golden TT. Got the Golden TT out. Got a heap of gunsmith items that we needed. We did fight the goons, but they kind of slapped us around a little bit. We got hunting trip done. Huge task. Huge task. It means we can just start using the Baltis everywhere now. Where else are we at? Worked on a heap of gunsmith. We got uh, a couple of insomnia kills. Oh, that might have been yesterday, actually. Uh, Shooterborn. We started today with Shooterborn at like 20% or less. We are now on 40%. We've got a heap of Shooterborn. Reserve is completely done. We can go back there to kill raiders, but for um, one of the tasks, but reserve is done. We got uh, a couple of interchange headshots for the gunsmith task. Brightness warning. We're up to 11. All right, so we've got the two items for the vector to go still. We have the MPX complete, the RSS complete, the HK, we have the pistol grip. Now we just need that laser, which we can get off the rogues. If we if we get desperate and want to find it, the rogues for that one. Val is done, DVL's done, AK-102. We just need this um, muzzle and also the mag still. The AKMN, we haven't found an AKMN in ages. We've been looking. SVD is complete, M1A is complete. Both the M700 and the, uh, the pistol is complete. The M4, we still need to get this uh, the Mark 10 rifle handguard. We have that and that done, and we don't need that stock. I don't believe it tells you you have to. EFT Wiki Gunsmith 22. I don't think it says you have to use that stock. No, you don't. All right, cool. So yeah, literally just uh, got to find the rail and the handguard. And I don't think we need the rail either. I think we can work around that. So just the handguard, and then that one would be done too. So really, we're looking at one... Once we find the AKMN, but two, three, four items. And I would say, and once we find the AKMN, MN, I think we have nearly everything here. Four items, and then I think we can finish all of Gunsmith. When you're looking at this, and we've got 33 tasks left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There's 12 of them are the Gunsmith. That's huge. We are slowly working on Tarkov Shooter, which is a big chunk of it, and Shooter Born in Heaven. All right, that's it for me today. Much love. I'll see you guys tomorrow.